Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If it's your first time here and you'd like to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners, today it's electronics, and a ton of DIY projects, you can start now by subscribing and click on the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Okay, here we go. So today I'm looking to make a controller for my central heating system. I've got eight channels on this relay, so there's eight individual relays, and each one of these can control an actuator or switch on a boiler or pumps or whatever. And I'm gonna use all eight on my heating system, and I'll show that in another video. But today I wanna to connect both of these up. I'm gonna program this and connect it up to that. Now, I want the hardwired, I want it soldered. You know, each pin on this, soldered to that. You can use, you know, wires with a socket on one end and a pin on the other end, and you can do it that way, and no soldering necessary. But I want this to be a permanent feature of my heating system, and I can control it with Alexa. So, you know, you can go Alexa boiler on, Alexa zone one on, Alexa underfloor heating in the sitting room or kitchen or whatever. You know, all of that. You can name it whatever way you want, whatever convention you want to use. But for me, anyway, today I need to get this connected up. So here we go. Now today I want to solder this directly to the pins on this board. I want to make it a permanent feature. I don't necessarily want to be able to disconnect it uh, without having to, you know, unscrew it if you like. So I'm gonna connect this up. We've got positive and negative we need on this. Um, the positive, it gets fed from a five volt connector, you know, like a standard um, mini, USB mini. Uh, just plugs in there and that gives the board its power. It also feeds from here to this relay setup. So we need a ground and a positive to go to this to power the, the relays. And then we need, you know, to tell what relays are coming on. We need D1 through eight. So we've 10 wires to connect up. This is flux, it helps the solder flow and it helps me clean the, the tip as well. So look, I'm just gonna break, cut off a bit of solder and I'm gonna tin out these wires. So if I just rub a bit of flux on them. Tinning out means I'm just gonna put a bit of solder on each of them so that when the wire goes on, it will take to it straight away. Trick is not to stay on the on the, the pin too long. So if you've got a soldering station, you can set your temperature. I have this set for 380 in, but it could just as easily be a bit more or a bit less. I know that I want red on this one. This is VCC, so this is a positive. And I'm just gonna touch it there. Right, so that's the red done. The black goes the other end. Get rid of the brown, it just wants to pair up. Might be easier to do this with individual wires, but this is the only kind of um, cable I have, so it'll do. Right, so as quick as that, that's the black and the red on. I can use any of the other colors then as they suit. Let's just move this around. I'll just go down the, the cable. Give myself a bit of room. Okay, so the white is gonna be next. That red is kind of stretched over a bit. You definitely don't want any, um, any bridges between the joints. So now we're on to white. Okay, it's white on. I could really do it using this magnifier, so I'm going to do that now. So it's definitely easier with the connector, you just push it on and it's done. For me, I want it soldered. This is all low voltage side of things anyway. So our blue is next. So that's what I've done. All I've done is I've soldered the pins on instead of using the, the little sockets. Okay, that's that. So there's our D1 mini board. It's a nice little board, it's got Wi-Fi built in. So it's gonna get powered off a mini USB connector and then it's gonna use its own, use that power to fire up this relay. So let's see. So we wanna be sending, now there's five volts and three volts on this. So if you're sending voltage down, it definitely wants to be the five volts for these relays. This is what flux looks like. And I'm gonna just dip the solder in it and flux up the pins or flux up the <laughs> Uh, that's not what I meant to say. I'm going to put the flux 
in some of these. It just helps it flow. Okay. Let's put the red in the 5 volt one. Get the rest out of the way for a minute. Let's add a little bit of solder. Actually, do you know what? Just gonna put a little bit of solder on this hole. Okay, that's in there. Now I've got the red. Okay, so that's the red in. Now we wanna do the black. That's the red on the five volts. The black is ground. So we'll try that again. We'll hit the socket or hit the hole with a bit of solder. Okay, that's nice, it's in. And we'll get the five volt in. So I'm just heating this now, make it hot, melt it, push the wire in. There we go, done. Five volt in. So five volt, red, and the black then goes to GND, which is ground. So I'm just going to solder up the holes that I'm going to use. I want to use D1, so I'm going to put a bit of solder on that. D2, D3, D4. I'm going to use D0. Five, six, seven. Uh, I don't need to use D8. So we're going to use eight pins on this, but we're, it's in this case, I'm going to use D0, D1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So there you go, I have it all hooked up. My eight channel relay down through my D1 mini board. Uh, this is just a power supply in. It's running off Wi-Fi. Um, and I can control it using Alexa, which is fantastic. So I linked to the software that I used, the sketch that I used down below. Um, I've modified it for my own um, setup, but it's easily changed. Um, and to keep the video short, I kind of more or less leave it at that. But if I want to use Alexa to switch everything on, for example, I can just kind of click it there and you can see all the relays come on. I can go click it off or I can just say, Alexa, everything on. There you go. And she says okay. Uh, same story, you know, you can hit everything off. Alexa, switch everything off. Okay. And that's it. And I have different zones. You can break it up different ways. You know, I have one for hot water, one for zone one. Which would be like, you know, the living room, kitchen, uh, whatever. You know, I can turn on several and they're all powered through thermostats so when their individual rooms get warm enough they'll switch off very handy to do this whole setup only cost i don't know i think about eight euro so less than ten dollars and you can control a whole heating system or anything you like and you can you can put a heap of these together you know that's one eight, eight um relay board you can have five of these or ten of these whatever you want or even um you know that's a two channel board i could have that with another d1 mini controlling something else and all work from Alexa. So I'm gonna connect this all up to my heating system tomorrow. Um, I just need to get some boxes and so on. I can't do it, I'd, I'd love to do it now, but I can't do it now. But we're set up and ready to go. This just needs to go into a box. And then on the high voltage sides of these relays then, so I've worked on the low voltage side a bit earlier, soldered all that up. Uh, the high voltage side then gets 220 volts in this country, um, in, gets looped across, and each relay then can switch on an individual item. So that's it, we're all set up. Um, in the description below, I'll, I'll leave the sketch that I used for this, D1 Mini links and all that sort of stuff, uh, whatever I can do to help. And maybe I'll do another video on programming this or whatever in the future. So look, I'll leave it there for now. If you like the video, please thumbs up. Subscribe down here if you haven't already subscribed. If you're a subscriber already, thanks very much. It's great having you around and the numbers are growing, which is brilliant. So see you all in the next video. Bye for now, good luck.